Hey everybody, it's your favorite real estate agent, Michael Pryor from the Pryor Group at Keller Williams, here today to talk to you about investment properties and where you should buy. So you've got some money put aside, you got a mortgage set up, you're, you're really excited to buy an investment property, you sit down with your agent in Toronto and you realize that the property you're looking at and all the other properties in Toronto are cash negative. That means that you're gonna put 20% down into this property and the rents are so low, no matter what property it is, hey, you're gonna lose money at the end of every year. You have to put more money into this property. Why would you buy that property? Well, the reality is the rate of return, we call it a capitalization rate in real estate, um, is quite low in Toronto. And the reason is, is that the capital appreciation i.e. the property you're buying is gonna go up in value so much, or hypothetically will, that people are willing to sacrifice short-term money to get into the Toronto market. Everyone's real estate investment portfolio looks completely different. There's a hundred different ways to skin the cat, so to speak. You have to choose which strategy works best for you. So if you're like me and you wanted to get more cash flow properties, you might invest in somewhere else. I put some money into New Brunswick. Um, and I've also looked at places like Windsor. I've looked at places like smaller towns, even London, Ontario, which had a higher cap rate paid you more money on a monthly basis than the costs were and was cash flow positive at the end of the year you had money left over versus Toronto property which I also invested in which you actually lose money in the short term but has done very very well for me over the last eight years as far as capital appreciation. My personal advice would be to have a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. Um, that way, when it comes to tax season, you have to pay revenue on the cash positive properties. So when you have a little bit of both, the ones that cost you money can be offset to the ones that make you money and your tax liability is a lot lower. And you'll note that when you start to own more than one property, your tax liability increases a lot, but you don't actually see any of this money in the short term. So if you're looking for long-term wealth, my opinion is to have a good mix of a capital appreciating property and a property that actually pays you dividends as well as things outside of real estate, um, investing in the stock market and obviously cryptocurrency is a huge thing right now. Um, but diversifying your portfolio, in my opinion, is the best thing to do as far as growing your overall portfolio. If you guys have questions about properties in Toronto, investing in Toronto, or even investing outside in different areas in Canada, I'm more than happy to consult you and make sure that you have the right portfolio base for you. If I don't hear from you, have yourself a great spring and a great summer.